released in 2022. Today we have IA Toys' third entry for their uniquely original six-scale female figure series, the Serene Hound Troops. Though technically, this one could be its own sub-series called Witch Surface Company. And for a bit of context, definitely check out the reviews for this line so far if you haven't already. Link in the description as usual. Either ways, one thing remains the same. I still don't know how to pronounce the names of these characters. But this time, I asked an expert to identify the name from the Chinese version of the story blog. And here's what it sounds like. Alright, grainy it is then. The story excerpt is as convoluted as ever. This time, it depicts Grainy performing at a live studio, as she preys on the souls of her audience by possessing them with her magical eyes and wand, because she is a Gesh witch. I don't get it. But that's beside the point, because the real magic is packed inside this little box. This portrait is largely the same as previous releases, which is strange considering Grainy is not a clone of Catherine. Still though, the beauty is captivating as ever. And when you get down to it, not everything is identical. The eyeliner, for instance, has this yellow accent that matches well with the hair. The confident smirk on the lips is gone, which I think is an appropriate change for the character. The hair is definitely an upgrade. Grainy is rocking that oxhorn style like it's nobody's business. Even the two buns are each shaped like a rose. And finally, the most notable difference is an additional option for the eye colors. And while we're at it, IE Toys' trademark crystal eyeballs make a return, so you can expect the same mesmerizing sense of depth in the iris. The posing mechanic is unsurprisingly just like before, and getting to the peg still requires a great deal of diligence. But since there's more wiggle room between the face and hair this time, the faceplate is a tad safer from paint damage. Slip a piece of paper as buffer between the face and hair, part the hair sculpt on the sides, lift up and away from the face, then remove from the neck. Naturally, the peg extender for moving the eyes is back. What is new with this release is this alternate pair of black eyeballs for when Grainy's witch powers are active. I was afraid the eyes would be incredibly difficult to swap, but it really isn't so bad so long as you gently pull with pliers like the instruction suggests. These eyes are a great twist to the otherwise somewhat similar faces of this line. Not that this Genos from One Punch Man by 3-0 was awful, but the allure in Grainy's eyes are much more sophisticated in comparison. Now, before moving on, I want to show you something that's not for the faint of heart. Ready? <sighs> yeah. So it seems the black dress underneath was not completely dried before assembly, leaving some stains on the chin that I wasn't able to remove. And the same goes for the clear inner jacket. It's a resounding bummer to be sure, but the upside is, the stains aren't too noticeable. In fact, I was already halfway through filming the beauty shots before I even realized there was a problem. Hopefully this isn't a widespread issue. So if you're getting one of these, this is definitely something to watch out for. Beyond that, the costume design is otherwise brilliant. You practically get three different setups here. Starting from the bottom, the base dress is form-fitting and provocative, with a symmetrical open chest and back design, ending at a mini skirt length with these cute pipe folds. Then we have this transparent hooded jacket that looks and feels like Joy's PVC raincoat from Blade Runner. The material is stiff but manageable. Yes, it's a bit stained, but luckily none of these cool prints and logos were affected. The zipper and clear pockets actually work, and I really dig these elastic trims. Next is yet another hooded jacket. These bold orange straps across the chest and back are very stylish, and the same goes for the ends that curve downwards from front to back. I8 Toys is definitely having a lot of fun making this look cool, and they still manage to keep it functional by having these Velcro straps on the sleeves, working pockets and zippers, plus another strap with more Velcro to hold down the hood. These over-the-calf white socks are smooth and elastic, complete with a very distinct band on the cuffs. And finally, this pair of super high heels bears these bright orange bottoms to complete the look. The color combinations are also a great callback to Catherine's design. As you might expect, this super sturdy hybrid seamless body is more of the same old, but they squeezed in a few improvements. One thing to note is that the instruction manual highly recommends against pinching the hair into the face when turning the head. The rubber neck is capable of the same giggity giggity action. The super big hollow boobs from Ryan and Tosh are back, along with the same excellent bends for the elbows and torso. The knees are exposed this time, and I8 Toys made an effort to add in these impressive shading on the skin for both sides. Now the packaging did come with a big sheet of paper separating the thighs from the dress. And seeing as how staining could be a potential issue, I definitely recommend keeping it on if you're putting this in storage. The feet are sculpted in this tiptoe pose, so they fit snugly in the heels. 
Unlike Ryan and Tosh, the ankle joints are very sturdy this time, so Grainy can stand really well on her own, which is surprisingly a new height for the series. So despite the amounts of recycled parts, the tiny upgrades here and there really add up. As per tradition, the accessories are bare but succinct. The hand parts are once again identical from past releases except for color, but no harm no foul here, as the options provided are more than enough for Grainy to do her magic. Speaking of which, this quote-unquote bag is not only a terrific addition to Grainy's feminine exterior, it also doubles as a disguise for her wand. I love how neatly this whole thing transforms. The design is simple and elegant, but the real magic is how effective it looks. Somehow, I8 Toy strikes again with their vision, as this wand fits really well with the image of a futuristic witch in a cyberpunk setting. For the size comparison, let's just do a quick roll call for everyone from the Serene Hound troops. Catherine, Ryan, and Taj. I think I8 Toys have gotten themselves a winning formula here. With a beautifully sculpted face and body, all they need is a well-tailored and fashionable outfit, and they have nailed it every time. So there you have it, the 1-6 scale, Grainy, the Gash Witch, by I8 Toys. The staining on the face and inner jacket is certainly unfortunate. I'm not saying that any of this should be acceptable, but at least the affected portions did not render the figure completely ruined. Defects and all, the beauty of this release is still absolutely enchanting. And for those who are getting one of these, I hope your luck is better than mine. As for me, I'm completely bewitched by Grainy's charms, as I'm just jonesing for IA Toys' sequel to this line. A triple entry of figures, whose names combine to form the word Cerberus. Well, I guess I'll have until then to figure out how to pronounce those names individually.